I want to introduce the concept of STP. STP stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure. Standard temperature is defined as 0 degrees Celsius, or 273 Kelvin. And I don't know why. I would not want to work in a lab that's kept at 0 degrees Celsius. I don't know why that's determined as standard temperature, but it is. Standard pressure is one atmosphere, 760 torr. That's much more reasonable to me. That's the definition of STP. Given that information, what's the volume of one mole of gas at STP? So using the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, and we're going to look for the volume of gas. So volume is going to equal NRT over P, and we're told that we have one mole of gas. We're going to multiply it by the ideal gas constant, and we're going to multiply it by standard temperature. Now I said standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius, but we want Kelvin, so 273 Kelvin. And we're going to divide it by standard pressure, which is 760 torr, or one atmosphere. Moles cancel out moles. Atmospheres cancel out atmospheres. Kelvin cancels out Kelvin. I'm left in liters. When I do this, I get a volume of 22.4 liters. And that's going to be true about one mole of any gas. According to the ideal gas law, if you have a mole of gas at STP, it will have the volume of 22.4 liters. It doesn't matter what the gas is. I'd like to leave with one closing thought about the ideal gas law. Remember, we took a bunch of individual gas laws, Boyle, Charles, Avogadro, even the Gay-Lussac's law, the one that was in the lab activity that you did, and all mushed them together to make the ideal gas law. Those individual gas laws are still there. They're still present in the gas law. So for example, Boyle. Boyle studied the relationship between volume and pressure. Well, if you're studying volume and pressure, you have to keep the other quantities constant, which means amount and temperature. So you can take the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, and put the constants all on one side. Well, amount is a constant, according to Boyle. Temperature is a constant, and the constant is a constant. So you get a statement, PV equals a constant, which is Boyle's law. You could rewrite that to say P1V1, your initial pressure times volume, equals P2V2, your final pressure times volume. The same is true with Jacques Charles. He studied volume and temperature. To study volume and temperature, you have to keep the other quantities, amount and pressure, constant. So you can rearrange the ideal gas law and put the quantities that you're studying, in this case volume and temperature, on one side and all of the constants on the other and you get a statement of V over T equals a constant. That's Charles' law. Or you could rewrite this and say V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. And you can do that with all of the gas laws. They all are included in the ideal gas law. You don't have to memorize any of them.